Hey guys, I'm Barbara Dunkelman and Sony has announced that their newly launched PlayStation 4 sold more than 1 million units in its first 24 hours on shelves in North America. To put that into perspective, PS3 sold 197,000 units in its first week on sales in the US, so PS4 could be outpacing its previous generation launch by 5 to 10 times. Seems like everybody wants some PS more. And this is just the first wave since the console isn't yet available in Europe, a market where PlayStation traditionally dominates. The console will hit there on November 29th and could shift another million units just as quickly. Sony expects to sell 5 million total consoles by the end of March. The launch itself went pretty smoothly with the PlayStation Network recovering admirably from the initial load of a million consoles all trying to download a 300 megabyte update, but it hasn't been without its issues. The hardware problems reported prior to the console's launch continue, with the blue light of death dun dun dun, becoming increasingly common. And Sony has released some troubleshooting steps for you to try before calling support and setting your console off to get diagnosed. Got a pen and paper ready? First off, shut down your console entirely. Do this by holding down the power button for 7 seconds until it beeps twice and disconnect the power cable. Once you've done that, it's time to check for physical damage. One of the most common problems is the HDMI port, so start there. Check the metal strip on the bottom of the port. It should be flush with the bottom so you could slide an HDMI cable in smoothly. Bow chicka bow wow. And if it's sticking up, hey oh, you can use a small sharp object to gently push it down to clear the way for your cable. At that point, you should check your cable to make sure the metal part hasn't damaged the connection. If that's all fine and dandy, the next step is to check your hard drive. Remove the external panel covering the hard drive, then check to make sure it's fully seated. If it's loose, like your mom, at all, that could stop the console from powering on. If the hard drive and HDMI port are both fine, it's probably time to call support and get it replaced. Next up, if you're a fan of Minecraft on the Xbox 360, you'll be glad to hear that 4J is trying to make your current gen safe compatible with the Xbox One version of the game. Back in June, Microsoft Game Studios chief Phil Spencer cautioned that saves might not be able to move across generations because the Xbox One version will feature bigger worlds. Brag about it, Spencer. 4J shares, we're trying to work on ways to move Xbox 360 saves to Xbox One with Microsoft. Can't say it'll be there until it's 100% working. They've also set a release date of November 20th for their Skyrim edition of Minecraft, so even without the Xbox One version, you've got plenty to keep you busy on the 360. Skyrim? More like Skywin, am I right? Moving on, places firmly in the rumor category, but some weird teasers for what could be Fallout 4 have been popping up too frequently to ignore. Last week, a Survivor2299.com teaser site was discovered, leading fans to believe an official announcement of the next Fallout title will be imminent. Now, a European trademark for Fallout 4 has been registered. Biba says it seems pretty concrete, right? But maybe not. Their Survivor2299.com domain was registered overseas with a company Bethesda hasn't used for any of their previous domains, which is a bit of a flag. However, fans theorize that this simply indicates the game could be set in Europe. To add to that, there was a teaser date added to the site soon after its discovery of 11 12 13. However, the US date format, which you'd expect an American company like Bethesda to do, doesn't hold water because the date has already passed, so it must be European format. Again, this could indicate the game's setting, or it could indicate that the teaser is less than legitimate. And now with the trademark, that seems pretty legit, but so did the European Half-Life 3 trademark by Valve last month, and that turned out to be a hoax. It's best to be skeptical for now, but keep an eye out on December 11th, just in case. Finally, something we do have official word on is the release date for the long-in-development Final Fantasy X and X2 HD remastered game for PS3. We are expecting it towards the end of the year, and fans will be disappointed to know that it won't actually be released until next year, but at last we have a firm date of March 18th for North America and March 21st for Europe. Yay! And that's the news for today. Leave a comment and let us know if you've had PS4 troubles you were able to fix and whether you think this Fallout 4 rumor could be real. Then check out RoosterTeeth.com for our newest episode of The Gauntlet. It's getting real. What?